Today, I'm going to talk about four common questions that people ask introverts that they really do not like. And they may not show it on the outside, but on the inside, they can cringe when they hear these questions. My name's Antoinette Griffin. Let's go ahead and get into these. The first question that introverts find annoying is, aren't you lonely? Just because the introvert spends a lot of time by themselves in solitude, it doesn't mean that they're lonely. When you think about it, alone and lonely are two completely different things. Alone is your state of being, whereas loneliness is this emotional state of being, and it is a negative emotional state of being. When you think of somebody who is lonely, normally you think of feelings of sadness, feelings of them feeling isolated, feeling this sense of emptiness. I can remember for the very first time as a young adult when I was moving out from college to my very first apartment and I was all excited to get an apartment, a place of my own. And so many of my friends were saying, aren't you going to get lonely? You're not going to have a roommate. And I was thinking, I do not want a roommate. I want to treasure having a place of my own. The reason why introverts hate this question is because everything's probably fine, but yet other people are assuming that something's wrong with them just because they're spending time alone. The second question that introverts find annoying is when somebody says, hey, are you busy tonight? Are you busy tomorrow or next weekend? That is a really loaded question. When somebody asks if you're busy, then how are you supposed to respond? Because obviously they're probably asking you for a reason, but you don't know what the reason is. Are they asking you if you're busy because they want you to do them a favor? Or is it because they want to invite you somewhere? And maybe you would like to have an excuse to be able to say, actually, I'm busy and I can't do that. But when they ask you right off, what are you doing next weekend? Or are you busy next weekend? Then they're really putting you on the spot and introverts hate that. So instead, if you really do want something from an introvert, to just ask them, hey, I wanted to ask you blank. Are you busy next weekend? Or are you busy tomorrow? And then let them answer you. The third question introverts find annoying is, why are you so quiet? That, for some reason, seems like an appropriate question for so many people out there. But yet we don't think that it's appropriate to ask someone why are you so loud or why are you so talkative? What is it about when somebody's quiet, we feel like it's okay to ask that? Kind of like with the are you lonely, it's almost assuming that there's something wrong and that's the reason why the person is quiet. While extroverts are thinking outwardly by thinking verbally and expressing themselves, the introvert is quiet because they're thinking internally. They're thinking with silence. They're reflecting. They're observing. Their mind is always going. And that means there's quiet. Unless they have something to say, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong. It just means that their brain is actively working and doing so in a silent way. Now, if you're wanting to better understand introverts, be sure and check out my video above and in the description below on three ways to better communicate with introverts. The fourth question that introverts commonly get asked that they really get annoyed with, and that is, is something wrong or are you mad? Are you upset? Once again, a lot of times people will ask that because the introvert is quiet. And so therefore they think something's wrong just because the introvert's not saying anything. Also, a lot of times people will ask that question because of the introvert's thinking face. A lot of times when they are thinking and reflecting and observing, they get a serious expression on their face and they're just thinking. But a lot of times people assume that that means that something is wrong. Now for this assumption, 
I do highly encourage introverts to be very self-aware of their thinking face and to realize that the way it's being perceived by other people is not what they intend. So to be self-aware of that. One of the things that you can do if you are introverted and you have been accused of having this thinking face, and that is just relax your jaw or part your lips, relax your jaw and, and continue with your inward thoughts, but be very cognizant of how your facial expression is coming across to other people. If you're an introvert and you get asked a question that you find annoying, put that in the comments below and the reason why you find that annoying so we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.